Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Besrat and for those that cannot pronounce my name, you guys could call me B or Biz. And today I'll be rating my entire handbag collection. So you guys, I will be rating my handbags from one to five, five being the most liked and the most used, one being the least liked and or the least used, and three being okay, functional, but for whatever reason, I still like it and able to use it. Um, I will give you guys the reason why as well. I will start off first with my Valentino clutch. This is the wallet on chain type of clutch, as you guys can see. And a lot of you guys are familiar with Valentino because of the spikes and the leather quality. I do want to mention as far as the leather, it's very quality, no scratches, no hardware problems. Everything is intact. And I had this bag since 2020. Um, but the one thing I do want to mention is the inside. It's actually um, not so much spacious. It has card holder slots but it doesn't fit that much. You can't really fit like um, hand sanitizing, lotion, anything bulky in here, like the Louis Vuitton six key holder does not fit. If you put a lot of stuff like that in here, it's gonna be bulky and it's gonna be hard to close. But one of the great thing about this bag that I like is the fact that the straps are removable right here. So you could wear it actually like a clutch. So you could have a chance to wear it as a shoulder strap or a clutch which is great, but however, due to the fact that you could not fit a lot, of, a lot of stuff in here, necessary items, everyday stuff, like, you know, sun, um, sunscreen and stuff like that, I would give this bag a three out of five. So next up, I will go over this brand. A lot of you guys might not be familiar. This is called Barra Barra. It's a British company um, who make 100% leather bags. I think this is um, pig leather i want to say i'm not really sure but this is called the santa anna mini bag i had this for a while and my rating for this bag would be a two or a one honestly i plan on selling this bag because it's not for me i had it for a while and the reason why i want to tell you guys is this leather quality is great however there's a lot of scratches right here and here um the other thing why I give it a one or a two is the fact that opening and closing the bag is so hard. You have to pinch here together at the same time in order to open it. And um, when you have this um, bag on a shoulder bag, if you don't have enough stuff item in here, it tilts over and it's gonna fall. See how it's leaning forward like that? It tilts over easily. So you have to have a lot of stuff in here. Not a lot of stuff, but it has to be full enough where the bag is not tilting over and then like i mentioned the opening here is so hard to open and close so you right here with the buckles with the button on it the inside does not fit much and they have a cell phone slot right here my cell phone does not even fit in here you guys and um it wasn't actually that much i want to say a hundred and something i don't know the price of it now because i got it a couple years ago so if you're interested in this bag make sure you guys look at my push market account which i will put in the description box for you guys and next up i have my louis vuitton bum bag you guys this is the world tour bum bag with the back with the black leather stripe i love this handbag and already i would give this five out of five right now it's my most used handbags actually shoulder bag i want to say it's hands-free it's convenient for me when I'm in the store or anywhere and I just have it around the shoulder. Um, so that's why I give it a 5 out of 5. However, I do want to mention when you have this bag like this on your shoulder, if you have the zipper open right here halfway, a lot of stuff does fall off. So you have to be very careful. So once you open it, if you don't close it right away, stuff, start, start, stuff starts falling off. So that's something to be aware of with this bag. But other than that, it fits a lot. It's hands-free, very convenient for me. And also, I haven't had any issue with the wear and tear. It is new. I got it not too long ago. But I've been using it every day, you guys. This is my most used item right now. I forgot about all my handbags and I've been using this a lot. So that's why I give it a 5. But because of the stuff that falls off, I would give it a 4 if that's the case. And I'm hearing that people are saying the Louis Vuitton bum bag is being discontinued, which is a bummer. Um, I do highly recommend looking in the pre-left market. 
but um, other than that, I would I really like it. I use it every day and I'm glad I got one because a lot of people were saying that this is a trendy bag and blah, blah, blah. For me, I enjoy this bag because I like to wear like sporty looks. So this is something for me. So next up, I do want to rate this uh, Louis Vuitton corset bag. This is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite bag from Louis Vuitton. You guys, like, I love the structure of this. I love the size. I love the function of this. And I love the fact that it fits a lot of stuff, even though it's small. And I love the fact that they give an option as a top handle. For some reason, I have a fetish for top handle bags. I really like um, bags that are structured this way. I feel like they're so classy. Um, I don't know for whatever reason. But one of the downfall that I had with this uh, bag was the fact the shoulder strap was too big for me. I ended up selling the shoulder strap. I'll show you guys a photo. And I usually wear this as a top, um, top um, handle bag. And I love it so much. I know a lot of people were complaining about the hardware of this bag being scratched. I left the stickers on because I saw a lot of review. People were saying that, oh, the hardware on here scratches easily. I left it on so I hadn't had any problems with scratches or stains on this bag. Demir Eben is treated leather. But however, once you open the bag like this, in order for you to close it if the bag is empty, it's going to be hard to close. See how hard it is? You have to fill up the bag with a lot of stuff. And once you fill up a lot of stuff inside, then this bag will be easy to close. Other than that, I would give this bag 5 out of 5 because it is my favorite bag from Louis Vuitton. I do like the bone bag, don't get me wrong, but this is my favorite as far as structure and style. This is something for me. So next, I will rate this bag right here. This is Pallone, I believe. It's a French company for those that haven't heard. This bag is called Numero Uno, which means number one. This is a medium size bag, I would say. I got it like in this wine, uh, like burgundy color. I had this for a while. I had this um, bag the same time as my Givenchy Antigona bag around the same time. And this bag could fit a lot of stuff, you guys, a lot. I love the leather quality. I hadn't had any scratches or stains. It has feet. It's very durable and it's leather. I want to say for those that are interested in a brand that has leather, great quality, I would highly recommend buying one of their, one of their bags. Um, also, I do want to mention that the fact the shoulder strap is adjustable, which is a plus. However, the leather quality of the, le of the shoulder strap is poorly made i would say i do have a lot of scratches somewhere let me see i do have scratches somewhere right here so the the shoulder strap is not made it's okay i don't want to say it's made poor quality but it scratches easily and because i wear this bag as a shoulder bag a lot more in the beginning so i was wearing it a lot and as you guys can see here as well like the buckles i don't know if you guys can see on camera See right here, the holes over here starting to stretch a little bit. So that's one of the issues that I have with the shoulder straps. Because when you fill up a lot of stuff in here, it puts weight on this. And you have it as a shoulder bag or uh, like a crossbody. It does fit a lot of stuff. So I will rate this bag a 4 out of 5. I think um, this bag is great for those that like low-key um, luxury or quality bags that doesn't scream out logos. I would highly recommend it for those that are interested into that those kind of bags. I still like it and I do use it every now and then if I'm going out. But so far, like I said, my Louis Vuitton bum bag is an everyday wear for me. Okay, my next handbag is going to be this Gucci Ophidia Medium ID bag. As you guys can see, I did a bag review of this already, so I won't be going into details. I give this bag a 4.5, and the reason for that is because, as you guys can see right here with the stripes, the red and green stripes, it does get fuzz ball, like that white um, fuzz cotton ball on here easily stuck. If you get it into any of your clothes, any sweater, or any cotton um, shirts, that's like... Um, sweater type of material so it does get it on here so you have to be very careful also with stains hand sanitizing any lotions or anything you get on here it is going to stain this this area so you have to be very careful but other than that this part of the bag is cannabis so it's really scratch resistance 
anything that gets on here you could wipe it off easily and it gets removed the other reason why i gave it a 4.5 is also because here the top handle this will stain easily if you have any lotion hand sanitizing so you have to be very careful as well i baby this bag you guys the rest of the bag i don't baby it as much but this is something that i'm very uh, careful for the other reason i gave it a 4.5 is because of the inside it has that micro fiber lining kind of like a suede material so you have to be very careful what you put in here i usually put everything in a um in a bag and place it in here so i'm very careful what i put in here such as lipstick any chapstick any lotions hand sanitizing any sunscreen any water as well i'm very careful on the inside um, so my next handbag i will go over this bag right here this is a bag from mango um, I know a lot of you guys heard of Mango before. It's a clothing company, but they do also have leather handbags. For those that want to save money and don't want to pay the extra, um, you know, luxury price, I would highly recommend check out Mango. They do have great quality leather um, handbags. This is one of them. This is cowhide leather. I love this yellow, like a tan Kelma color. Um, it's kind of like a suede material and I love the bag and I love the gold hardware. Look how shiny it is. It kind of reminds me so much of the YSL bags. I love it and it's in great condition. I hadn't had any scratches. As you guys can see here, I left the sticker on because a lot of the handbags they do, um, the hardware does tend to get scratched. So I kind of left it on, but I'm sure I'm going to take it off. Um, I love this bag. I had it for a while. I only paid like $25 and you guys, can you believe this is leather? So one of the pros and cons that I do want to talk about is the fact that because this is suede like material in the back of it, I see a little bit of discoloration. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I see it in person, maybe because I wear, um, when I wear this as a shoulder bag, maybe because of the perfume, maybe if the perfume is oil like, maybe that's why it has a discoloration on here. And I could tell it's starting to discolor and also on the side, a little bit of discoloration, but in the front, it's in perfect condition. I love this bag. It's in perfect condition in the inside, it has that cotton lining right here and here you're able to fit your phone. I used to wear this all the time and for some reason I stopped wearing it now. But I would give this bag a 3.5 because of the fact of the suede material. It's something that you have to be careful for. To be honest, you guys, I'm not a suede type of person or white. I cannot keep any suede or white clean for whatever reason. So it's kind of not the bag's fault. It's kind of my fault. So, but I give it a 3.5. But I love this bag. I love the color of it and the function and the fact that it's leather quality. Leather and it's quality bag so next i will be going over my givenchy antigona bag i love love this bag you guys i love the structure of it it's boss lady bag like you could wear this to um work dress it up dress it down i love this bag you guys i'm so glad i got it um the leather quality is excellent it fits a lot of stuff this is a medium size bag because it's in a size small it's a lot of stuff and it has a cotton lining. I would rate this bag five out of five. I love the color. It's something different that you don't see in the market. I'm probably the only person that has this bag from Givenchy. I haven't seen anybody do a review, but I love this bag. I did take it for travel in the airport. I did fit a lot of stuff and I was able to carry this as a shoulder bag. I had no problem. I love it, you guys. Um, as far as uh, wear and tear, the leather is in great condition. I don't have any tears or wear on here. No scratches, no stains. Even in the inside, I don't. I love it. The hardware doesn't have scratches or anything on it. This is why I give this bag five out of five. And next, I will go over my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. I also love, love this bag, you guys. Most of the bag that I actually have, I really like it. Um, the only downfall of this, I wish I got the bandolier instead of the classic Speedy 25 because sometimes I do want um, to carry it on my shoulder because sometimes when I'm carrying it, it gets so heavy and I get so tired of um, holding this bag like this. But right now with the price increase of the bandolier, I probably look in the pre-love market to see if they have anything available, probably in the size 30 or 25. However, 
as far as this bag i love the fact that i don't have any stain or scratches on this bag Demre evan is treated uh cannabis so look you guys no stains nothing on here i use this bag every day when i first got it but i kind of gave it a break and switch it up with the wearing the bump bag but these are the two bags that i actually wear if i'm not wearing my speedy 25 i'm usually wearing my bump bag so i switch between both of them off and on i have used this for travel it does fit a lot of stuff and the hardware is in great condition i don't have any scratches or stains even on the leather part right here um as far as the inside i do have uh i do have an insert that's why it's very structured i have a lot of stuff in here still um because sometimes i'm switching bags from there to here i would rate this bag as well well five i guess i would say yeah i would rate this five out of five i love this bag i know some people are not into speedy i love the structure of it it's pretty small and i am petite so i wanted something like this this fits a lot of stuff for me i don't usually like small bags like that i like medium sized bags so i could fit enough stuff but if i'm doing errands every day then it's something like a bum bag or something smaller but this bag is a must have for me and i'm glad i got it the next bag that i want to talk about is going to be this pouch bag i bought this pouch bag from amazon it's a look-alike for the bottega veneta pouch bag you guys this is such an excellent condition look at the braided leather i know it's not real leather but look at that it's an excellent condition like brand new and i had it for a while for a very long time i would say a year and a half or so this is made in china so i do not accept expect the quality to be good as this and i was trying to actually decide if i wanted to get the bottega veneta so i ended up buying this one to see how i like it but i ended up keeping this bag and i really like the quality and the inside has one big hole doesn't have any pockets and you can fit a lot of stuff the great thing about this bag is the fact that you can wear it as um like a shoulder bag or crossbody bag or as a clutch but the quality is what it bases me so i give this bag five out of five i don't think i will be buying the bottega because this is such a great quality and i wanted something that was similar and i do not want to pay that price tag you guys honestly i bought this only for 25 dollars from amazon i think it was 25 around that range i had it for a while so i'm not really sure what the price but i remember it was about the 20 20 dollars something like that around that so the next bag is going to be my YSL medium envelope bag. Honestly, you guys, I haven't wear this bag enough to give you guys a thorough review or a rating on this bag because I haven't used it much. You know, with this COVID lockdown or the COVID, we ha I haven't been going out as much as I should be um, for various reasons. But I do love this bag and I do think it's such a great quality as far as the leather. Um, I'm into YSL for some reason right now. Um, I think I want to wear it a little bit more before I, I give you guys an honest review of this bag. So friends, I do want to say to you guys, I do not like having massive handbags, massive SLG in my collection. I like to keep everything to a minimum. Right now, I have 11 handbags in total, minus this, which I will sell and I will have 10. Um, I want to keep my handbags collection in between 15 to 20, even 20 is too much for me. I'd rather have something that um, I could use rotate for different occasions but however with the price increase and the cost of living being so high it's i'm starting to think like do i really need to buy another handbag because i have enough from what i have i'm not saying i would never buy any more um, handbags in the future i might buy something but i will cut back a little bit more um but other than that you guys this is my handbags rating i hope you enjoyed this video let me know which handbag was your favorite and i'll see you guys next time have a good day guys